It's time to talk about Henry Cavill, a well-known superhero actor who may have recently joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe. According to a well-known industry insider, Cavill was offered and accepted a position, but it was not what you might expect. According to rumors, he may have taken the job of superhero Captain Britain. Who wouldn't want to see Cavill, who played Superman in the DC movies and Geralt of Rivia in The Witcher, join the MCU? So, let's dive in what we know. So back in 2021, when The Hollywood Reporter asked Cavill about his interest in joining the MCU, he made it clear he wasn't keen on stepping into roles already portrayed on screen. However, he expressed enthusiasm for taking on a fresh, updated rendition of a character like Captain Britain, highlighting the appeal of playing a British figure as a British actor, drawing parallels to Captain America. Fans have often speculated about Cavill's potential MCU roles. Following the announcement of the Fantastic Four cast, suggestions emerged placing Cavill in characters like Doctor Doom or Hyperion. But according to industry insider My Time to Shine Hello, Cavill snagged a different role in the MCU, which he accepted. The prevailing theory is that he might fulfill his wish and portray Captain Britain, aligning with his earlier interest. As for who is Captain Britain, well, Captain Britain isn't your typical superhero. He's more of a mystical champion representing the British Isles and its people. Dr. Brian Braddock, also known as Captain Britain, gains his powers from the Amulet of Right, bestowed upon him by the mystical guardian Merlin, who's deeply rooted in British mythology. Plus, he's wielded the famous Excalibur, which Marvel fans might recognize from the recent Eternals movie. His origin story dates back to 1976, when he made his debut as a researcher at the Darkmoor Energy Research Center. After a near-death experience during an attack, he encounters Merlin and chooses the path of becoming Captain Britain by accepting the Amulet of Right. Captain Britain's adventures truly kick into gear in storylines like Time Runs Out, where he faces off against formidable foes like the Ivory Kings. And during the Secret Wars, he even tangles with the likes of Mr. Sinister from the X-Men. Now, the MCU has dropped hints about Captain Britain, like that moment in Avengers Endgame, where Peggy Carter references Braddock's unit being halted by lightning strikes. Plus, in the Marvel TV show Secret Invasion, we meet British intelligence agent Sonya Fallsworth, who's assembling a superhero squad and brings in Gaia, paving the way for Captain Britain's potential inclusion. But is Henry Cavill gearing up to portray Captain Britain? Well, it's still up in the air, despite all the buzz from insiders. Cavill's got a packed schedule, what with recent releases like Argyle and upcoming projects like Guy Ritchie's The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, not to mention his involvement in a new Highlander movie and a Warhammer 40,000 TV adaptation. So, while the rumor mill churns, only time will tell if Cavill suits up as the mystical defender of Britain in the MCU. With that being said, let's dive into how Henry Cavill's Captain Britain might fit into the wild world of the MCU's multiverse saga. Imagine this. Cavill's Captain Britain could shake things up by rallying a whole new squad within the MCU. Picture him stepping into the shoes of Brian Braddock, the Captain Britain we've seen kick butt in Marvel Comics. Now, if he comes into the fold as Brian Braddock, Cavill's version could link up with a team already hinted at in the Secret Invasion storyline. Remember Olivia Colman's Sonya Fallsworth from the Disney Plus series? She's in cahoots with Amelia Clark's character Gaia. Plus, with the Brit hero vibe already going strong, with recent MCU projects like Moon Knight and Kit Harington's Black Knight, it's like they're laying down the groundwork for MI-13 straight out of the comics. MI-13? It's basically Britain's answer to supernatural and otherworldly threats. And if Cavill's suiting up as Captain Britain, you can bet Marvel's giving him a meaty role. I mean, they wouldn't tap Superman himself for a small gig, right? But hold on to your hats, because it doesn't stop there. With the Council of Kangs making their debut, Marvel is opening up the multiverse floodgates. Who's to say they won't bring in other multiversal superhero teams to take on those pesky Kang variants? And guess who could lead the charge? Yep, you guessed it, Cavill's Captain Britain. Imagine him as the big cheese of the Captain Britain Corps in the next Avengers flick. These guys? Their whole deal is protecting their realities and holding down the fort for the whole darn Omniverse. Sounds like the perfect gig for Cavill to sink his teeth into, right? 
If he's stepping into the MCU, a role like this in the multiverse saga could be just the ticket for him. An intriguing Avengers Endgame Easter egg might have already laid the groundwork for Captain Britain's introduction into the MCU. Remember that scene where Steve Rogers catches a glimpse of Peggy Carter during his time-traveling mission? Well, Peggy mentions a certain S.H.I.E.L.D. agent named Braddock who's missing in action, along with a mysterious weather event that's not lightning. This subtle nod has sparked speculation among fans, with some even suggesting it could hint at the existence of Storm from the X-Men. But the Braddock reference goes even deeper. While it might not align perfectly with Captain Britain's backstory as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, the MCU has a knack for setting up family connections across generations. Just like how Captain America, the first Avenger, introduced James Montgomery Fallsworth long before Sonya Fallsworth appeared in Secret Invasion, the Braddock mentioned in Endgame's past timeline could potentially be the father of a modern-day Captain Britain. Of course, there is also the matter of Captain Carter, whose multiversal tale replaced Steve Rogers in the Super Soldier program. But that wouldn't necessarily hinder the introduction of a new Captain Britain, and with someone like Henry Cavill potentially stepping into the role, his star power could easily overshadow any concerns about continuity. Now let's dive deeper into the impact of Secret Invasion on the potential introduction of Captain Britain in the MCU. Despite being a Skrull, Gaia's human guise in the series is portrayed by none other than British actor Emilia Clarke, establishing a natural connection to the United Kingdom. After her showdown with the Gravik in the finale, Gaia strikes a deal with Sonya Fallsworth, securing resources to continue the fight. Interestingly, Gaia's storyline could set her up as the MCU's iteration of Captain Britain, albeit with significant deviations from the traditional origin. Yet parallels exist between Braddock and Gaia, paving the way for this transformative reinterpretation. In Marvel Comics, Captain Britain boasts an array of abilities, including superhuman strength, speed, and energy manipulation, alongside flight and force field generation. Remarkably, Gaia inherits these very powers following her enhancement with DNA from various MCU figures during the Harvest. Essentially becoming the MCU's most formidable hero, Gaia's evolution could position her as the UK's foremost superhero, potentially receiving support from MI6 to fully embrace the Captain Britain mantle. But what about the original Captain Britain's prospects in the MCU? Thus far, neither Brian Braddock nor his sister Betsy have made their debut, though their name has surfaced. Remember Steve Rogers overhearing Peggy Carter's mention of Braddock during the time heist in Avengers Endgame? While this tantalizing tease awaits resolution, it could allude to Brian or even his father, Sir James Braddock, a pivotal figure in the multiversal Captain Britain Corps. Peggy's own transformation into Captain Carter in What If hints at the potential for alternate Captain Britain iterations. Ultimately, Gaia emerges as a compelling candidate for the MCU's Captain Britain, offering longevity and a showcase for her formidable powers. Her introduction, whether as Gaia or one of the Braddock's post-secret invasion, could also pave the way for exploring mutant-centric narratives beyond the multiverse saga. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.